Hey everybody, this is David with Second Main Phase doing another uh, Legacy Cube. Um, and the stipulation that we're going to go with uh, this time is that we are not allowed to take um, spells with odd mana costs. So even converted mana costs only here. Um, from this pack, I like Grave Titan quite a bit. I think that's what I'm going to take here. Um, I could take one of the lands would also be an option. Fortunately, uh, Dragon Lord Atarka. I guess I could take Woodfall Primus, but I, I don't think Woodfall Primus is really what I'm after. Uh, let's just take the Grave Titan and see where this leads us. Um, here, so at even converted mana cost, so I can't take Inquisition. Um, I think I'll just take Overgrown Tomb over like Hangerback Walker, maybe. Green Sun Zenith has a uh, Odd mana cost, because it's it's technically CMC1. Um, there's also a Xenagos here. Yeah, I'm just going to take Overgrown Tomb, I think, over the Hangerback Walker. This will be a challenge, um, getting this deck to function. Um, I don't know what the, the best sort of game plan is, um, since I don't have, like, you know, a spreadsheet of all the CMCs of the, of the cube. All right, so here's some great... Uh, two mana options for us. There's a counter spell, which is awesome. Baleful Strix, which I like a lot. Um, is it Charm? Dreadbore are sort of lower on my list. I think if I'm going to take one of the blue spells, it's got. Or if I think if I take anything out of this pack, it's going to be one of the blue spells. So counter spell or Baleful Strix. Um, counter spells pretty good. I like Baleful Strix. I'm going to take counter spell here and maybe hope to wheel Baleful Strix. Uh, nice thing about even mana cost is that of course. Uh, um, Wraths, most of the Wraths are at even mana cost. All right, this is really unfortunate because there's three cards that we would take for our, our growing control deck here, um, but we can't play any of them because they're all odd mana cost. So uh, I think what I'm going to do is take Kiora. Kiora seems decent. Yeah, let's take Kiora here. Ooh, all right, ultimate price looks good. Um, not really in, in the market for Talrandia. I'm just going to take ultimate price. It's probably the pick... Even if I had my choice, maybe like Stroke of Genius would be in the can, in the running somewhere. Okay, oh, Psychotog can't take you. Um, guess I'll just take a land here. I think I'm likely to splash uh, white if I get the option for Wraths. So I'll just take the Temple here. Um, Nicol Bolas is even mana costed. So is Cyclonic Rift. Both of those cards, pretty good. Pretty good. I'll take Cyclonic Rift, I think. Like, Nicol Bolas is nice, but we're not. it's not looking like we're going to be a deck that gets to that much mana too consistently, so just take Cyclonic Rift. Like, if I get to that much mana, like, Cyclonic Rift is pretty good. So we're, like, sort of set up to be some, some sort of a blue-black control kind of thing going on. Splashing for Kiora at the moment, but that doesn't have to stay that way. Um, yeah, so this will be interesting. Obviously, our curve is going to be pretty strange. So we're gonna have to, we're gonna need to pick up as many two drops as possible because our twos fill in for our ones and our threes. So that's a pretty big deal. Um, there's no end to good four drops in the cube, so I'm not too worried about getting stuff there. But twos are gonna be hard. That's that's gonna be the biggest challenge going forward, I think. So unfortunately, this is not the I can't even uh, stipulation. This is the I can even, I guess. <clears throat> it doesn't have quite as good a ring to it. But but then when you do the odd cube, you have to be like, okay, and lands don't count because, you know, duh. Um, dismiss over Underground River. This is an interesting pick. I think I just take the Dismiss here. I like Dismiss okay. Uh, River was is nice fixing for sure, but not super high. Like if this was a different, if this was like a duel or a fetch or something, I'd take it, but... Take and dismiss here. We're going to struggle to find playables a little bit more than normal. Um, we wield Whirler Rogue, which I think is actually like not a bad magic card. I mean, also, like, nobody's in, like, the big rampy strategies or, like, you know, sneak attack or whatever, because Woodfall Primus and Dragon Lord of Tarka are both amazing. Um, but I think Whirler Rogue is going to be fine for us. I don't think we need to go as deep as, like, Stormtide Leviathan. All right, Harbinger was a great pickup. So is Remove Soul, though. Actually, both of those are really nice. Harbinger is a great tempo play. Hmm. 
Yeah, I like Harbinger a little better than Remove Soul because we're going to have like some awkward moments where we're not going to be able to get our counters in time. Um, all right, Kega and Baleful Strix. All right, Baleful Strix, you're in for sure. I wouldn't even mind Dreadbore or Is It Charm, like splashing for one of those, but Strix is great. Um, Kega also could be a good finisher in this deck. All right, well, we wield two awesome cards for our deck that we can't play. I'm going to take Temple of Malice here. There's a possibility that we'll splash uh, red. Uh, Talran came around, I guess, is the card we're taking. Don't look like a great Talran deck. We would play Stroke or, or the other card. All right, uh, High Market. Ooh, hello, Nicol Bolas. Nicol Bolas we might even play. We have this Temple already. All right. Looks very, looks very nice and orderly over here. All of our twos, fours, sixes, and our eight drop. Uh, Slaughter Pact is even. Um, Merfolk Looter is also even. I think I... Man, I really want a Looter in this deck. But it's not the best Looter. Like, Jace is better. Um, looter Ill Core is better. I think I'm just going to take the Pact here. This is also, like, a weird way for us to, like, sort of sneak a three drop into our deck with Slaughter Pact. Um, so I like it. Yeah, we got this sort of sweet little blue-black control business going on. Phantasmal Image is great. Ugh, can't take Mystic Confer Confluence or... I mean, I could take part the Water Veil. There's a Day of Judgment here as well. Should also be a consideration as a splash. Um, we already have two decent splash cards. I think Phantasmal Image is just very good. Um, it's great with Baleful Strix, um, Whirler Rogue, I guess, Harbinger. Yeah, let's take, uh, let's take Phantasmal here. Um, Worm Coil is great. Worm Coil is awesome. There's also Abrupt Decay, which I guess we can... No. Yeah, we can kind of splash Abrupt Decay. Not sure how good Abrupt Decay is, though. Yeah, I think I just slam Worm Coil here. Be happy. Worm Coil and Grave Titan are just the kind of cards that are, you know, always good. I mean, they're not always broken. You know, they're rarely broken, right? But they're very, they're very good. Sort of fair good cards. Alright. I like where we are. I think we could use some more hard removal. Uh, obviously Damnation would, would be pretty much uh, the exact card that we want to see coming up. Um, those white rats are pretty interesting and maybe we end up moving in and taking them. Ugh. Ugh. Really? Um, I guess I take Profane Command here. Since uh, Maul Drifter and Force of Will are both odd CMC. I mean, Force of Will is kind of a zero, but, you know, we're not going to be breaking any rules here. So let's take Profane Command out of that pack. Revoker is also something to consider, um, but I don't think I need it there. Pact of Negation is a zero. Stratus Dancer is a two. I like Stratus Dancer okay. Wooded Foothills also interesting. Gives us a better red splash. What are we doing on playables? Pretty good. I'm going to take Pact here, I think, over Stratus Dancer. How, how valuable is it to have Stratus Dancer in our deck? I think not so much. I mean, Pact of Negation is... Yeah. It's not amazing. Maybe Wooded Foothills is just the best the best thing for our deck right now. Oh, whatever. I'm just going to take... Well, Wooded Foothills gets the double splash, right? Gets Kiora and Nicol Bolas. Huh. This is a tough pick. I think I'm just going to take the Wooded Foothills. I think those other two cards are both okay, but not amazing. Oh, yeah. We won the lottery. Glenelendra Archmage is awesome. One of the best cards in the cube, I think. Um, Temple of Deceit would have been nice, but Glenelendra, get in. Please. Uh, Snapcaster Mage is good. We would have been happy with like either the Spellskite, Bloodstained Myra, or the Coral Helm Commander, but Snapcaster Mage is awesome. All right. Uh, a land here or Animate Dead. Let's see. Yeah, but Maya Coast gives us another blue, or sorry, another green plateau. No, we don't need plateau. Hallowed Fountain gives us access to white, but not with our fetch currently. Um, probably Animate Dead is just good enough. It's a fine card. Yeah, I'll just take it here. Um, wow. <laughs> okay, so we're like the only blue drafter, I guess. Um, I think I want Merfolk, Mer ah, bleh, Merfolk Looter more than Negate. I believe. We already have Counterspell Dismiss. Um, well, Negate's good, but I th yeah, I think the Looter is a little bit better. 
Let's take Looter here. Man, we're like shaping up to have, yeah, plenty of playable. Okay, yeah, no one is playing blue in our pod. This is ridiculous. Mythic Confluence is really good. Like, maybe better than Cryptic Command in this cube. Um, but we can't take it because it's odd CMC. So we're going to take part the Water Veil here. Part is fine. We might not have to play it. All right, Abrupt Decay is something we might run. I don't think we're a Thespian stage deck. I am i don't know if we've seen Dark Depths go by. Uh, I don't really pay attention to that. I don't really like that card. Um, yeah, I'll take Abrupt Decay. All right, yeah, no blue drafters. We'll take Brago. All right, Shivan Reef, I guess. Um, yeah, we can't play any of the other cards. Shivan Reef at least helps with the Nickel Ball Splash, though I think that's fine already. Like, we can afford uh, to play um, one Mountain, and then we have uh, four red sources for one card, for one Splash card. Yeah, that seems fine. Ooh, Coral Helm Commander came around. That's actually really good. We, like, it, this looks kind of crazy, but we actually need all these two drops because we don't have threes, and we don't have ones. So all of our early game is here. So we, we really do need to put it all there. Um, all right, Into the Royal and Venser are both very good. I'm happy to take either of them. I think I'm just going to take Venser. Into the Royal has a higher chance of wheeling, I think. Also, Windswept Teeth we'd play. Um, probably wouldn't play Garrick. Don't think. Don't think it's that good. Play Vraska, obviously, if we were allowed to, but can't. Oh, hello. Cryptic Command. Yes. That's all I have to say about that. Um, we have a good chance of wheeling something decent from this. No, actually, actually nothing that great. We can get the Double Splash on Temple. Maybe Scalding Tarn wheels. It doesn't look like anyone's playing blue aside from us, so Cryptic is in. Upheaval. Upheaval. Well, I don't think we can do upheaval. I think I think it's unfortunate. I don't think we can do upheaval. I think I'm just going to take the trop out of this pack um, over, like, Blood Crypt. Gives us the easier cure splash. None of the other cards are playable <laughs> in our deck. So, um, yeah. I don't think upheaval is what we want. We have, what, like, Nicol Bolas and... Yeah. No, I, I don't think, like, we don't have any mana ramp, so upheaval just looks kind of bad. I'm just going to take the trop, make our mana a little bit easier. Also, trop gets fetched from Wooded Foothills. All right, Deep Analysis is good. Dragonlord Silumgar. Dragonlord Silumgar. All right, if you guys have been watching any of my videos, you know I think Dragonlord Silumgar is, like, just awesome. So we're going to slam it here. Wouldn't mind wheeling that Deep Analysis. All right, we, we have cuts to make. I'm excited. I didn't think we would have cuts to make. Oh, Languish? Languish? Oh, man, this is sweet. We get to take Languish here. All right, get in. Get in, get in. All right, yeah, we're going to have some cuts to make here. Deck is good. All right, Talrand, I think, is out. Um, we just, yeah, we have a lot of spells, but I, I don't want to win that way, I think. Could even consider cutting the Cure and the Nickel Bolas. Just make our deck more uh, streamlined. We'd still run the Foothills Trop in the Overgrown Tomb, just because, you know, we can. But they're pretty high power level cards. I don't know. What are our worst uh, two drops? Probably Coral Helm Commander is in there. Um, from four, I actually love all of our fours. Maybe, like, not Whirler Rogue a ton, but, like, I still kind of like Whirler Rogue. Ooh, we picked up Days and... Oh, all right, okay. Man, look at this. We got our pick. Take Gatekeeper? Gatekeeper is sweet. Um, only in this deck, <laughs> but uh, I don't think I'm going to take it. I think Days and Metamorph are both just better. Um, Metamorph is nice. It gives us a three, like a pseudo three. Days is, of course, nice. Um, what do we have in the form of permission? We have Dismiss, Cryptic, and Counterspell already. I don't think I need the Days. I think I can just go with Metamorph here. Probably play it, too. Um, Legacy's Allure is a good sideboard card. Um, it's great against the Mono Red decks. Um, yeah, just take that. I don't think I want Scrubland for any reason. Or Duplicant. Jace, Sower, all right, yeah, no, like, obviously no one else in, in, in our draft is playing blue at all, like, these three cards are both great, or, or, sorry, all three, all three of the cards are great, we would play all of them, um, we can't play Time Warp, so do I want Jace or do I want Sower, I think they're both very good, um, Sower's nice, uh, what do we have, I mean, Jace makes part more, more powerful in our deck, um, I'll take Jace. 
Jace is good with Languish, and Sower is a little less so. We already have Dragon Lord Selimgar if we really need that effect. Okay, into the Royal Wield. That's great. This is actually hilarious. We have a good deck. Like, we took only CMC, e even CMC cards, and our deck is actually good. Like, right, I'm going to cut Whirler Rogue. Um, I think it's a fine card, but I, I just don't think our deck is, is looking like a Whirler Rogue deck. Um, what's our next worst card? Probably something from up here. Probably, it's probably just, like, these two cards. Like, whatever, they're just fine. Like, our, our other cards are really good, actually. Scalding Tarn Wheel? Yeah, okay. Nobody's playing blue. I mean, Pester Might's kind of a thing, but, like, Scalding Tarn's just straight up. You play Scalding Tarn. There's no reason not to play Scalding Tarn. All right, we, it, awkwardly, we don't actually have any actual blue-black fixing here. Um... I guess I just take Blood Crypt. I don't think Upheaval works really for our deck. Uh, though it is like sort of a get out of jail card, but I'm going to take Blood Crypt. It opens up Splashing. All right, Deep Analysis Wield as well. I don't know if we need Deep Analysis, um, but we're going to take it. All right, we can't play any of these cards. Dragon Skull Summit. All right. Oh, man. Remand and Days came around. Remand's nice with Snapcaster Mage. But I think Days is just better. Yeah, and I think we're going to play the Days as well. Man, our deck came out it was surprisingly good. I mean, granted, it was very clear that that uh, that blue was just totally open there. Like, no one was taking any blue cards. Um, What do we cut from this list? I like all of our twos, actually, kind of. Maybe Cyclonic Rift isn't... I, I, haven't, I haven't tested Cyclonic Rift a ton. And maybe it's just, like, just okay. I actually like all of our... All the rest of our twos. Maybe Animate Dead is not amazing in this deck. I mean, we do have, like, Looter and Grave Titan, Dragon Lord, Sungar, Worm Coil. Yeah, Animate Dead's fine. Animate Dead's, like, usually a fine card. I think I'm just going to cut Cyclonic Rift. Because we already have, right, we already have Into the Royal and Venser um, and Cryptic, which are all better, I think, than Cyclonic Rift. It's definitely a card I'll side in in a long game. Let's see, Profane Command's a way to close the game. Um, do we benefit at all from fetches? Let's see. I don't think so. So it's kind of kind of awkward. I guess no, actually we do benefit from the fetches, right? Because like Wooded Foothills finds both Trop and Overgrown Tomb. So then that is fixing. Same with uh, no Scalding Tarn is not fixing. So maybe we don't run. Oh uh, no, Scalding Tarn is fixing if we run the Blood Crypt. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. So I think it is worth running all the fetches there. Um, out of the board, we can play Nickel Bolas if we want to. I don't know, maybe some of these cards are good. Whatever. I think our deck is sweet. Just going to try running it uh, this way. We've got, they're suggesting four and eight. Uh, so we've got one, two, three, four. So that gives us eight black sources and eight, uh, nine, ten, eleven uh, blue sources for this deck. I think I can go ten and nine. I think that makes sense, right? Well, we have some double blue spells early, actually. Yeah, let's, well, what's our double black? Languish, Profane Command, Grave Titan. Yeah, I think this is okay. So we'll take Info 5. Hmm. No, I'll add, I'll add another Swamp. Or will I? I have a lot of double blue at the early end, don't I? I've got Counterspell, Harbinger... Cryptic, Venser, Jace. Yeah, let's just add another another uh, island here. Okay, so this is what we're going to try. Uh, I'll see you guys in round one, this very even-keeled deck.